Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Tiffany Benson, one part of Team Benson, and today it is time to harvest some stuff because we are going to be putting up our shade cloth. Okay guys, so I came over here for a minute just because I feel like the lighting's better. <laughs> now, there is a lot going on in our garden and there are some big things that have just happened. So, we got our summer, our first summer rain, which is really, really important for a desert garden because you want to make sure that your garden gets those rains in when they can because there's nothing like that natural Sorry right, guys, the city is loud today, but there's nothing like that natural rain that can hydrate your plants and that can provide nitrogen for your plants and just all the things. So you want to make sure that your garden fully gets that rain. Shade cloth sometimes makes it to where it doesn't get all of it that it can. And in the desert, you know, rain is precious. So we have a lot going on. We have a lot that we need to harvest. And also I have a very sick husband that I am taking care of. He is suffering from dehydration dehydration and sun poisoning which is real if you know if you live in the desert you probably already know about it but we'll go over that in a whole other video probably tomorrow so what we're gonna do is walk around harvest some things we're gonna get some stuff to make for him and then also we're going to just harvest some stuff for the week and then we're gonna take a look and evaluate our plants and where they're at because then we're gonna be putting up shade cloth too later on today all right guys so first up we're going to start with our carmen sweet peppers we have a couple of red ones on here and then i want to show you guys something because this is actually not a root rot or not root rot but blossom end rot this is actually a sunburn now guys this will probably be a whole other video too because i actually have two pepper plants that have peppers on them that have sunburns and one of the things that sunburns get confused with from like a new gardener is going to be um, blossom end rot. So when you have blossom end rot, that's an issue in the soil and that's an issue with calcium. When you have sunburn, it's just too freaking hot. So <laughs> you need to put on some shade cloth. But if you have blossom, if you don't have blossom end rot and you're treating for blossom end rot, like putting all of these different things like calcium tablets, extra calcium in your soil, you're just going to ruin the microbiology of the soil because it's not what it really needed anyway. So let's continue to harvest some stuff. I just wanted to point that out real quick. Now guys, the next thing that needs a big trim are all of my onions. Now some of my older onions are trying to go to flower. I'm gonna cut off this stalk and see if it'll divert some more energy down to the bulb in order to make it a bigger bulb. And then I'm also going to, like I said, be putting up shade cloth. Now my poor beans, they need to go to a different location because this is also sunburn. This isn't a disease, this is just the sun burning up the plants, <laughs> but we're going to come in, we're going to give all of our onion tops a little bit of a harvest, a little bit of a haircut for here, and also let's walk out here. Right here needs it, as you can see, and then also over there. Alright guys, so that is a lot of green onion tops, and we have the... Uh, peppers here these ones are sweet peppers they're carmen sweets this is the one that had the sunburn on it i'm just going to cut off that spot and we'll be able to use the rest of the pepper but you don't want to leave them on there when they have sunburn now we're moving over to the green beans i so wish i had planted more of these guys all right guys the sun is bright now these are going to be on my must grow list for the spring next year i tested out some green beans to kind of see which ones i like the best i know that i like rattlesnake pole beans um during like monsoon season i like the uh big kahunas during the fall um i tried the big kahunas that's what i'm trying out in my dollar tree pots right now they're taking the sun okay but i planted them pretty late now if these ones are the pioneer beans these ones are doing absolutely amazing. If I had to planted my Dollar Tree pots at the same time with these beans, I would have like buckets of beans right now because these things really, really do produce. Now moving on along to one of my favorite spots are going to be my shishito peppers. We're gonna start with the shishito peppers and then we're gonna move along down here. These ones, I don't know guys if I want to make, have them get bigger. Mm, their skin is getting a little bit tough. 
I'll probably pull these two. These ones are my poblano peppers. So let's see how many we can get from the shishitos because I want to have like an Asian food night. Guys, look at all of these poblano peppers. Now I 110% totally regret not wearing gloves. Just drop that one. Upon picking these, that's gonna be a problem later on in the day when I'm in my office and I rub my eye. So I'm gonna wash my hands with probably like some pennies in order to prevent that. But what I've been doing with these is they are super, super hot, like really, really hot. So I've been letting them dry out. The ones that Mr. Benson doesn't saute and eat with eggs because he does really like hot peppers. But all the other ones I've been allowing to dry out. They'll turn red on my countertop, they'll dry out. And then I've been putting them in a container that I'm going to make a hot powder, like a hot seasoning for. So that way, whenever I wanna flavor something, I can just get a little bit of the powder and put it in versus needing to use a whole bottle. All right guys, this is turning into the great pepper harvest of 2023, but it's time for me to get some, all of these serranos. I need to grab all the serranos off of that one. And then also I have a bunch of serranos on this one. All right guys, look at this. We have some poblano peppers. We have some poblano peppers, we have shishito peppers, we have green beans, we have some serrano peppers, and some carmen sweet peppers, and a ton of green onions. I was just getting ready to stop the video and be like, that's enough, but then I saw some eggplants that really need to be harvested. So let's go over to Miss Eggy. So guys, in the jungle, I just realized that, which, ah, oh, they have spiders all over them. <laughs> the web, they're like in the web, but let's go get them. So that was a little webby, but one of the main goals in my garden is not to disturb the spiders because the spiders are keeping my garden so clean of a lot of other pests that could be going on and destroying my garden just for funsies. So I try not to disturb them as much as possible. But these little eggplants are so worth putting my hand into a spider's web to get. <laughs> and just like that, guys, the garden is giving me a little treat for all of my hard work. I love a good mulberry. And just like that, guys, we have everything in our bucket. There's a huge harvest from our 100 degree May garden right now. There's still tons more to the harvest. I will go through tomorrow because I'm going to make some soup today for Mr. Benson. And then also I want to talk about the, the sun skull in the plants and we need to get some herbs harvested. But until next time, make sure you guys are growing yourselves a garden because even a small space can provide you with tons of food. Bye guys.